The Little Engine That Could, Valentine's Day Surprise. It was a special day at the Piney Vale train station, Valentine's Day. The Little Engine That Could smiled to see passengers being surprised by friends and family, bringing them flowers and candy. Even the station workers and train conductors were smiling and exchanging valentines. What pretty valentines, the little engine that could said to herself. She wondered what it would be like to receive a valentine made just for her. Mr. John, the manager of the Piney Vale train station, walked up to the little blue engine. Hi, little blue. Happy Valentine's Day. It is a happy day, isn't it? said the little blue engine. It's so nice to see so many people showing their love for one another. Well, soon today is going to get even better, said Mr. John. After all, today is the day that Lucy Locomotive, Choo Choo Charlie, and e Engine Eddie come to Piney Vale train station. That's right, the little engine that could said happily. Lucy Locomotive, Choo Choo Charlie, and Engine Eddie were her friends from Maple Falls, a small town nearby. Their train station was closing, so they were moving to Piney Vale. Waiting for her friends to arrive, the little engine that could was nearly ready to burst with excitement. At last, she spotted the three trains chugging toward her on the tracks. She blew her whistle long and hard. They were finally here. Hi there, little blue, Engine Eddie said in his deep, blooming voice. I can't believe we're all going to be living in Piney Vale together, Lucy Locomotive said excitedly. Little blue, little blue, Choo Choo Charlie piped up. Isn't it going to be fun? We'll see one another every day, and we can talk and play games and tell jokes and have parties all the time. The little engine that could laugh. Choo Choo Charlie was the youngest train, and he was always extra excited about everything. That does sound fun, Choo Choo Charlie, the little blue engine said. Hey, why don't we have a party today? It's Valentine's Day, after all. In your first day at Piney Vale, we should celebrate. Woo! Can we, Engine Eddie? What do you say, Lucy? Please, Choo Choo Charlie begged. Before Lucy Locomotive and Engine Eddie could reply, Mr. John spoke up. That's a great idea, Little Blue, but I'm afraid there's no time for a party today. I have to show the new trains around and give them their schedule so they'll be ready for their routes tomorrow, said Mr. John. Also, I really need you to run some important errands. The little engine that could couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Don't feel bad, Little Blue, said Lucy Locomotive. We st we'll still be here when you get back. Maybe we can have a party next weekend instead. The little blue engine smiled. That's true, she replied. And I've got a joke for you before you go, said Choo Choo Charlie. Want to hear it? Sure, said the little blue engine. Okay, how can you tell when a train is gone? Choo Choo Charlie asked. The little engine that could thought for a moment. I don't know. How? It leaves its tracks behind, Choo Choo Charlie said gleefully. The little blue engine laughed as she started up her engines and rolled down the tracks. The little engine that could had to run a lot of errands for Mr. John. She made a visit to the post office to send out some packages. She went to the print shop to pick up a batch of train schedules. She stopped at the grocery store for a box of goodies to fill the drink and snack machines in the train station. And then she picked up the week's supply of coal, her last errand for the day. The little engine that could was happy to be on her way back to the train station. She couldn't wait to talk more with her friends. Chugging along the rails toward home, the little blue engine passed Mrs. Lee, the mail carrier. The train tooted her horn and greedy. Mrs. Lee smiled and waved back. The lacy red and white valentine in her hand was the prettiest valentine the little engine that could had ever seen. She sighed, feeling a little sad that she didn't have a special valentine too. As she got closer to the train station, the little engine that could spotted something unusual hovering in the sky. It was a ring of smoke, and it was shaped like a heart. Curious, the little engine that could pushed herself faster. When she rounded the bend approaching Piney Vale train station, the heart came closer into view. Now she could read the words inside of it. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. When she rolled into the station, all of her friends were standing there. Surprise! They all yelled. The little engine that could gasp. For me? She asked. I've never heard of a surprise Valentine's Day party before. Mr. John laughed. Neither had we until now, but I and everyone else wanted to do something to let you know how much we appreciate you for all your hard work around here and how much we love you for being such a good friend the little blue engine blushed we wanted to it to be a surprise mr john explained that's why i sent you on all those errands that's also why he told you that we new trains had so much stuff to learn around here said lucy locomotive so you'd really believe we were all too busy to celebrate 
But we didn't let Choo Choo Charlie in on our little secret, Engine Eddie said. We waited until after you left to let Charlie know what was going on. Sometimes it's hard for him to keep a secret. Engine Eddie laughed heartily and Choo Choo Charlie joined in. That's true, he said sheepishly. I get too excited and I forget. But it was my idea to draw your valentine across the sky using puffs of smoke. Do you like it, Little Blue? Do you? Choo Choo Charlie asked anxiously. Little Blue Engine gazed up at her very own personal valentine hovering above them in the air. She smiled at Charlie. It's the most perfect valentine a train could ever wish for, she said happily. I love it. And I love all of you. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And it was.